Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to do a flip through of my large folio. Uh, first, I have um, this uh, ruler here, and my measurement of it is seven and a half by nine. So it's a fairly large uh, folio. I really like the background paper. Uh, it has that woodsy appearance, like a forest, and um, all the beautiful colors of a woods. On this side, I have a tag, which was clipped to the whole uh, folio. It's made three-dimensional, and on the back, you can write uh, your comments or whatever you want to. Uh, on the front here is one of the birds I decorated in my last tutorial. Uh, making birds glamorous. And if you notice, his tail is uh, sporting lace and uh, clear stones. And on the back is a, another owl, and he has an additional l nice long tail. And the cap of it is uh, sporting a piece of gold paper. Right now, what I'm doing is putting a little dab of glue on his um, claw there, it looked like it was going to try to come up. But you, he looks perfect inside the, the forest. And on the right-hand side, you see that there is uh, a stripe that looks like it's uh, leather. And that kind of gives it a, uh, an extra detail in the paper. Excuse me, I will say paper, but it uh, is printed on cardstock. Now let's look at the front of my folio and see what we have there. The same style papers on the front as well as the back, and uh, there are a few other papers that uh, coordinate with them. Uh, this tab here is uh, your opener, and I had trouble uh, after I scored it, uh, keeping it shut. My cardstock is fairly heavy, so it didn't want to stay shut after I uh, scored it. So now you notice it springs closed, and the reason being is I have uh, two pieces of uh, a magnet on the flap, and underneath the top a pocket, I have the other half of the uh, magnet. Now it springs closed nicely. Okay, let's look at inside. Now from this view, you can see that there's a, a pocket on the flap. And I have a, t a tag on it. And here are the two magnets. You can see them in this view. And then the magnets are hidden underneath the pockets. So, the thing I like about this uh, folio is the flap because I love the, the scallop edge on the flap. I think it really gives it a personality. Now let's see what's inside. I have a couple of items here. All of them can be written on in, in the back. I did not do anything to the back. Um, I might stamp a few mushrooms or something on on one of them, but uh, on the whole, I'm gonna just leave them plain. Here's a piece of, um, of a note page that um, I have put inside the pocket. And this is a, the largest of the pieces. And I thought about putting it on the inside like this and having the top taped or glued and uh, leaving the bottom free so you can look under and see the bird. But I decided that uh, I would just leave it like it is for now. I can always go back later and put something over top of the bird and you can look through it. Mm -hmm. Here's some other items, the mushrooms. I think they're cute. Now in my top pocket, I have a 
a bird, and that is a, um, I was going to say a pheasant, but it's not. It's a peacock. The, the little top on his head uh, lets me know that it's a peacock. Items back in the two pockets, and I like the chain uh, that's at the top of the pockets. I think that gives it uh, a little personality. Oh, I'm p watching how I put my pieces in that top pocket because that's where my two magnets are hidden. We'll put the rest of these in here. This is the largest, so I'll put that on the bottom. And then the long piece here, I will put it in at an angle. Uh, that way I don't have to fold it as of right now. Now the two pockets are on the front outside. So let's see what's inside. I have a tab very similar to the one in the front that is scalloped. Uh, this one is not scalloped. And both of them have a pocket on the side uh, in which I put a um, tag. Uh, this one I didn't put, excuse me, this one I didn't put a tag in. I just put a couple pieces of um, a firmer. Now in the middle, we have a couple of pockets, and uh, one has the butterfly, and the other one has the dragonfly, and uh, they're just two little items that are botanical that would go, and I've got one more in here somewhere, I think. Um, sometimes they're a little hard to get out. That would go, and that's my mushroom again, and there's a little Burst on a piece of cardstock. And so I'll put it back in the small one again and uh, put these back in my pockets. As you can see, these pockets are fairly large, so they can hold a lot. Now I can either put the uh, butterflies here all the way in my pocket, or I can let them stick out whichever way I want to do it. Right now, I'm gonna just let them stick out, the, the dragonflies. Okay, well, I'm gonna fold the back over. And we have a couple of pockets in the middle. And uh, this lower one has a bird in it and a butterfly. I thought about um, making the butterfly dimensional. It's similar to the one in the front, um, but I was afraid that would be too much inside the pocket. Be hard to get in and out. Okay, there's there's one pocket there that you see, and and I've just emptied the. I'm emptying the second pocket now. And I'm not sure what kind of uh, words I could put on these three labels. Uh, right now, I'm just leaving them plain but they do show up where the three pockets are because this uh, print is with all the greens and all going every which direction is they're kind of hard to pick out i did distress the edges a little bit in green but not very much and i probably should have done it more or made uh distress them in uh, walnut stain to make them stand out more but um uh, I like it like it is, so I'm not going to distress them any more than what it already is. So now we'll put all of our goodies back inside the pockets. And I do like the green labels. I think they show up nicely. And I may go back and, and put something on them like birds, butterflies, or uh, flowers, or, you know, something as a kind of label. Now this is pretty much my... Um, folio, my large folio, and I really like the uh, flaps on it. I'm going to put my 
label back with my clip and even though it clips the entire book it's not needed I've just done that to, to hold the label on now before you go I would like to tell you that something happened to the first time I did this uh, book and I thought it was going great and all of a sudden my dog got hold of it not this one but another one and I want to tell you about it next time and what I did to solve the problem because you see I live with my daughter and she has a paper eating dog and um, I can't wait to show you what I did with the papers and all that were just like this and they started out like I started this folio but they ended up entirely different. Please do come back and see me. And don't forget to have a great crafting day. And please, subscribe. Bye.